Thank you, Conductor Red. Had a wonderful ride up to Newfound Gap. And oh my gosh, what, the, what a difference a day makes. The sky is clear as a bell. Um, I heard there was about six inches of new snow up here on the night I got off. So we'll see what that does with the trail conditions. Day 22. Oh, it's just fluffy joy out here. I'm so happy to have footprints to follow. It makes it so much easier to get through. Yeah, so a little complaint to register. Um, my, I have a long stride and uh, longer than, uh, than what you see in these footprints. So who's ever ahead of me, uh, I need you to increase your stride to make it more convenient for me. Thank you. By the way, uh, I had been traveling with a Stormbreaker, but I missed a... Uh, Miss said his name, it's not Storm Chaser, it's Storm Breaker, which sounds way more cool. Look at these drifts. They behave exactly like sand waves in the desert. So you have a ridge, and a valley, and another ridge. Hey Stack, Storm Breaker, I know how tired you must have been when you did this at night. Um, a couple of nights ago, ago when it was snowing and you had already gone at least 18 miles. That must have been so tough. Hope to hear from you. Sweet. I just passed Aristotle and I think it's MacGyver. And they were rocking some snowshoes. And now I am cruising. And those guys, um, along with Hungry Bird, are southbound flip-flappers. So they're finishing up their through hike in a few hundred miles. Look, Mom. No gloves. No numb fingers. All right, we got the cutoff to Charlie's Bunyan. Nobody has been out to Charlie's Bunyan in a few days. No prints, I gotta be really careful. This is slate. This is a metamorphic rock. I just teared up a little bit. Okay, a lot. Okay, looking out to the north, or maybe that's the northwest, I, I, don't, I don't even know. But you can see the mountains, the ridges, and, uh, and you can see pretty far. It's a good air day. And uh, people have heard, um, um, you know, about the Smoky Mountains and the, sort of the natural smokiness of the area. Um, but you know, there's something called a deciview that's actually a measure of that determines how far you can see and how far the haze you see in the air um, attenuates uh, your ability to, to see. So there, there's, I'm not an expert on, on how that's determined. Um, but 
part of it is just you know of course natural weather uh, whether there's uh, moisture in the air uh, but part of that is air pollution and I'm real excited about this um, I have talked to the program manager for the National Park Service uh, um, in, in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park so he's the, the program manager for air and uh, I've set up a call with him um, I don't know exactly when it's going to be in a few days and so he is the expert and um, so I'm going to pick his brain and I don't know if uh, how you know how I'm going to show it on, on video or maybe I'll just describe uh, what I talk about with him uh, well, that's to be determined still but uh, hopefully I can get, get today's video out ahead of time and if anybody is interested has any questions about air quality as it relates to the Great Smoky Mountain National Park um, put them in the comments and, and I'll, uh, I'll have that in my conversation and I will report back I'm real excited about this Woo! I am on a knife's edge got your big conifers but you're happy, rhododendron. And the clear blue sky. Today I'm in no rush. It's not gonna get that cold tonight. And I just need to maintain two miles an hour. And I'll get into the shelter I'm going to by six o'clock. Which will be, you know, pushing sunset, but on a beautiful day like today, no big deal. And I think it'll be 16 miles for the day. down to the last two miles. The snow's not getting any less. I just realized I've been I've been tromping through snow since at least the North Carolina border. So probably about 130 miles. I can't even remember anything different. <laughs> the light is fading fast. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up day 22. I'm gonna to have to get my headlamp out. Uh, I understand there's a guy um, by the name of Soup Kitchen at the shelter I'm going to. It's another mile and a half. Uh, so I didn't want to, did not want to disturb him if he's asleep or if he's awake. Uh, I'll probably uh, just have conversations with him. So wrapping up day 22, it was a day of Oh, a bliss, the first half. And then um, and then now exhaustion is, as, the, as the snow depths are uh, unrelenting, even though it was warm today. And, uh, and some of the hill climbs towards the end are, are pretty brutal. But um, I'm almost there. I'll be there in about half an hour. Good night.